you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel, where we make WordPress tutorials for everyone. My name is John, and today we're talking about how to back up your WordPress website using a free plugin. Uh, this is a long overdue video. We actually get asked this quite a bit, and we always tell people, hey, you should back up before doing XYZ. Well, this video will help you do just that. Over on our website, pressavenue.com, we do have all of our other tutorials in order, and you can kind of search through it a little better than uh, YouTube itself. Um, on Facebook, facebook.com slash group slash Press Avenue um, is where a lot of these questions I'm talking about come in. Uh, we do polls about upcoming tutorials, and people ask questions, and I love to help out when, wherever I can. Um, so it's been a great community so far, so thanks to anyone that's posted there. All right, so let's get to it. Today we're using a plugin called Updraft. They have, well, Updraft Plus, I should say. It's essentially a WordPress backup plugin. It backs up to all these things here and does more than that as well. So you can back up your stuff and restore it if there's ever an issue. Um, it is a freemium plugin, which means they give you a little bit of stuff. And if you wanna do all this other stuff over here, then you need to pay. But what we're showing you today is exclusively with the free one. I love the free one and I do highly recommend it. It allows me to back stuff up and that's exactly what we're talking about today. All right, so we'll go over to uh, a website here. Uh, this website simply just needs to be backed up. So we decided, hey, why not make a video while we do it? So I'll go to plugins and add new. As a rule of thumb, I always update everything before I do a bigger backup, but you should back up before you even update. So go to plugins and add new. I'll just type updraft. And then you're looking for this orange icon, so updraft plus. They do other things, central, and you'll see some kind of ads on their plugin about all the other stuff they do. But for this case, I'll just click install, and then we'll give it a moment, and then we'll click activate. So give it a second to activate. All right, so now it says, welcome to Updraft Plus, the world's most trusted backup plugin. Press here to start. So really nice kind of walkthrough guide to show you what to do. Um, so it says your first backup. To make a simple backup to your server, press this button or set up regular backups and remote storage in the settings. So I'm gonna actually go over to settings. And just to show you here, um, the vault is their kind of place to store stuff, similar to like Dropbox. Uh, the first month is a dollar. I forget where it goes up from there. We can go check in a minute. Uh, you can go to OneDrive, uh, WebDAV, S3, FTP, Dropbox, Amazon S3 again, Microsoft OpenStack. I mean, everything's in here that I've ever heard of. Backblaze, I love. Um, I would recommend that one. What do you want to include? We have plugins, themes, uploads and then includes additional folders as well. We're getting ahead of ourselves, so we'll go back here. Um, I'm gonna clear this, it's just WP Rocket. Um, I have a video on this, it's just a caching plugin. There we go, to make this work better. So I am gonna click backup now, and now it says perform a backup. Include your database, this is a must. If you're just backing up your files, and you try to restore and you don't have that database, you're missing a ton of information. Um, include your files in the backup, yes. Um, backup won't be set to any remote storage, that's fine. Only allow this backup to be deleted manually. So I'll just leave it. I'll say backup now. So it's congrats, your first backup is running. So what I like about this is it gives this progress bar showing, hey, this is what's happening. This is where we are in the, in the uh, process and we're going from there. So right now it says it's creating a file backup Okay, went away. It was doing the plugins initially, and then now it's done. So this is a small site. If you have a bigger one, it would take longer. Um, so down here, we have existing backups. So we have today's date, and then we can download the database, just the plugins, just the themes, just the uploads, and others. Additionally, we can restore, um, which is fantastic. So you can hold a backup on your server. If there's an issue, you can restore it. 
I do recommend downloading it though if you had malware on here or something that messed up the site and you couldn't get to this restore button, that would be a big deal. So I'll download the database and then it says download to my computer. So I'll give it a minute. Then I'll say I want the plugins. So it says hold on, it looks for the entity. So I'll download the plugins. I'll download the themes. Download. The uploads. Now typically this folder would be the biggest on um, most websites because this includes all your pictures, videos, anything else you on there. And then other. I'll hit download. So those are now saved to my computer. Um, so say I don't have this backup. So say this is gone. So I'll delete it or malware hit it or someone accidentally deleted it. We'll just come back here. Uh, yes, we agree. We'll go back here to plus, updraft plus. And it has backup now. It says existing backups are zero but it allows me to upload the backup files. So I can say upload and I can select the files and put them back on here. So I can say select, I'll go to my downloads and here they are and I'll hit open. And now you can see it's bringing that download back up. So I would recommend you could put this in Dropbox manually, Google Drive, um, if it's small enough, so the plugins are 38 megabytes, so you probably couldn't email that to yourself. You could save it on a thumb drive, another hard drive, etc., and have this backup. This is great for businesses um, or any site. So I've had sites where I fixed a hack and I ask and I ask and I ask, hey, where's the backup so we can restore it? Well, there is none, or they don't know where it is. Um, so sometimes I tell people, hey, put it on Evernote, Google put it on Dropbox, email yourself saying the backup to my business is on, and then you'll remember that you can search your Gmail for where your backup is located because you've lost it. Um, so there's that. So we're letting this kind of upload here, and this will take a while. This isn't the fastest server that this is on. And once this is uploaded, I can take this backup data here. I can click restore and restore the entire site, which is just absolutely fantastic. So I will give it a moment and let it finish. All right, so that's all complete. So now just like we had before, we have the date and then all these items here. I can click restore and it says restoring will replace this site's themes, plugins, uploads, database, and other stuff. Choose what you want to restore. So I'm going to say plugins, themes, uploads, others, and database. So everything that I backed up, I want to restore. I'll click next and it says preparing the backup files. So the backup archive files have been successfully processed. Now press restore again to proceed. Basically it unzipped everything, check to make sure it was there. I click restore and then it gives us this great um, kind of checklist here as it goes through everything. So now it's verifying all the files. And then you can see here, it's going to go through, it's too fast, the database and everything else. And you can see, this is what it did here, put all this stuff in. And then I can say, follow this link to download this log file, um, just in case you need it. So we can download that. And then I can return to the configuration and we'll be back on the site. So nothing really changed between my backup and my restore, but it works right out of the gate. And this is the only plugin I've seen that is so easy. Yes, there are other backup plugins, and some of them I do recommend, uh, but this is fast and it's very easy and it's free. Um, other things you can do, um, migrate and clone. This just makes it easier, so they have updraft clone. Technically, you can just back up, bring it to a new site, and restore it, and change all the links. Um, settings, so right now we're on a manual backup schedule. I can set this to go daily and then save pick how many backups. At a minimum, I'd probably do three. Um, but the problem with that is if you're three off, then you um, won't have a correct backup if there's malware and you didn't catch it for several days. Um, so I could say weekly and I could keep, or daily and keep a week's worth. 
And then the database schedule, what do you want to do on that? I usually match the files because if I'm updating the files, I'm writing blog posts, I'm doing pages, I'm doing etc. So I usually keep that as well. Do keep in mind that this does take up space on your server if you're saving it to the server itself. Um, other things you can X out if you don't want to save some of this stuff. Um, you can send a basic report to an email to an administrator. Um, other advanced tools, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. If you don't know what it is, don't click it. Um, oh, here it is. So the free one will let you back up to remote storage locations, and that includes Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon S3, Rackspace, and more. I will say Amazon S3 is the best bill I get. I do a few backups to a bucket there, and they charge like 80 cents or something, which is beyond cheap. Um, after that, if you want to do any of this other stuff, cloning, uh, incremental, better support, pre-backups, multi-site, backup time, CLI, no ads, all that, you would get the premium and you can store stuff even on their servers. So the free one does give quite a bit of uh, kind of freemium features. Well, that's it for backing up and restoring. It is really fast. On a larger site, it would take longer to process all that data, but on this small site, it's quite easy. If you have any questions about backing up WordPress, want to see other WordPress tutorials, or anything else, please let us know in the comments below. If this was helpful in any way, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And additionally, click that red subscribe button to see more WordPress tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.